Well, these home fans can certainly give a boost to one of the hottest teams in hockey right now. Welcome back to EA Sports. I'm James Cebulski. This team is coming right now. The Wolfpack have established possession here early in this one as they win the draw. Passes over to Mercula. Quick feed to Fortier. Now a quick pass to Jones. Sends the feed in front. And scores! And just like that, we've got our first in game counter. Didn't even have a broadcast headset on. I was just putting it on, James. That was incredibly fast, and the coach couldn't have drawn it up any quicker. They say, hey, let's get off to a good start. I'd say they just did. have turned this place up to 11 after scoring just seconds into this one. What an outstanding start. I mean, there's two things that you want to do out of the gate, especially when you're playing at home. You want to establish pace and you want to establish presence. Well, they hit both of those markers in the first minute of this period. Check it along the wall by Johansson. And a poke check knocks the puck away. Big hit and that frees up possession. Hammers the shot. Can't get it to go. Stahl's got the puck in his own zone. Here's a chance! Oh, what a close save by Kaiser! Hartford's performance in training camp has translated to the beginning of this season. They're high octane, they're playing defense, they're doing it all right now. It'll be consistency down the stretch that'll make the difference. Rochester's got it and they're on the attack. Scooped up along the wall by Stahl. Quick feed down low. Moves it to Johansson. Takes the shot! Great stop by the goaltender off the glove. And he's tripped up on the play. Referee's hand goes up here. Let's see what the official makes for the final decision. Such a tough penalty to take when the game's within reach. They're looking for the equalizer. Now they find themselves shorthanded. And they win the faceoff and set up to go on the attack. Here's a blast. My goodness, what a save by Pitnar. Well, this save is all about the compete to find the puck. I mean, it's a battle, and you're trying to outbattle your opponent. You can see him bobbing up and down, trying to find the puck. He finds it at the last minute, reacts, and makes the save. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Can't hang on after that hit. Tries to get the puck over to Nadeau. Great reach with the poke check. Quick pass to 2-4. Hartford's ready to go on the attack. Oh, my goodness, it's stayed out. What a it was all but in James and that athleticism and the will to get to that puck. That was on display. Puck moved back to center, forcing them to regroup. The Wolfpack have possession along the boards. Grabbed along the board by Coat. Oh, love the defensive stick work there to poke that one away. And that caroms off a body in the lane. Gets it out of his own end. Stahl's up and ready to get back on the ice. Hartford's got a hold of the puck. Rochester's back to even strength as they killed off the penalty. And he was ready for that one. Well, when you get the nod to hit, hit the ice on a power play, you want to execute at least 20% of the time, and all these players are heading back to the bench, and they're deflated. Takes the feed. Takes possession. On the attack along the boards. And he takes a shot. Turned aside with the glove by Kaiser. A reminder of the team store, always accessible to you online, 24-7, 365 online. But don't forget, you can also visit their uh, location in person at the arena, open seven days a week. Check it out, some very cool stuff to keep your hands on these days. Feeds it over to Cooley. Hartford's going on the attack as they gain the zone. A chance! They score! a bit. Now they've got their opponent on their heel. They need a quick change here and find a way to continue the momentum. Well, this is just a perfectly placed slap shot, James, and he's got all the time in the world to walk into it. Load and explode. And he beats the goaltender six side. Hartford's up here in the first, and they could easily be up by more based on what they've done offensively. Rochester's got a hold of the puck off the draw. Slides it to Perry. Slides the 
puck over. Just gets enough to keep it out. Pokes it away to stay on the attack. Takes control of the puck. Kaiser's gonna hang on for the whistle here. It's been a whole hot night for him. Well, it really has. He hasn't been tested, but it is a close game, and he's got to come up big. He has to stay dialed in and focused in this one. Nearing the midway mark of the period. Hartford's got a two-goal lead. They'd love to build on it. Takes the feed. Hartford's got the puck in the defensive end. Rochester's got possession of the puck. Moves it around along the half wall. Great reach by Barry. Picked up along the wall by Regula. Jones works the puck in his own zone. Hartford's got it along the wall. Oh, I think that one off the shaft of the stick. What a stop on that one. Delayed penalty looming. Quick shot. No room for that one to get through. And that's broken up with a stick in front. Whistle blows, stopping the play. Running interference is part of the game, but guess what? You gotta be smart about it. You have to allow your opponent to move freely to find that puck. You can get in the way a little bit, but too much, you're gonna get the interference call. The Wolfpack have the puck shorthanded. They try to maintain possession inside the defensive zone. Here they come through center and into the offensive end. Denies him, he got all of it. Passes it over to Nadeau. From along the boards, moves the puck ahead. Here's a shot, and that's blocked. Takes the puck as the clock ticks down on the penalty kill. Hertford's got it in their own zone. Looks to make a play over to Anderson. With the blast, and that shot dies in traffic. Rochester's gained possession along the boards. The Americans played along the wing. Pass back to the point. That one. Giroux's been a workhorse tonight, James, and there's just another example of it. And the entire bench knows that they're invigorated by it. I mean, he's on his way down, he's stumbling, and he manages to find the puck and get a shot on net. That's tenacity at its best. Appreciate effort, James, and that's how that save was made. Feeds it on over to Jones. Gaining momentum up along the side. Slides the puck down low. Good stop by Bednar. Quick pass across to Anderson. And that's intercepted by Stahl. Rochester's working hard in all areas of the ice. Defense is structure, and it needs to happen in all three zones. When you're talking about stick positioning, you're doing a great job of taking away passes. And now it's grabbed by Regula. Drives to the sweet spot. Denies him. Well, he makes an incredible save on a point-blank shot here, James. I love the way he's aggressive. He's competitive, and he wins the battle. Played big in the moment there. Wow, what an incredible shift. They're so urgent all over the offensive zone. Coaches love these types of shifts. 56 seconds. Boats really got him on their heels here now. Poked away at center by Stahl. Rochester's on the attack. An attempt to clear the puck from deep inside his own end. That's it for period number one, second period action coming up in moments here on EA Sports. And we are just moments away from the start of period number two. Here we go, middle frame now underway as the puck drops. Looking to make something happen along the boards. Quick shot, here's a shot. Oh, and he steps up with that glove. Oh, the night of the play, wow! Well, that's a true competitor save, just when you think champions are made of. 
Rochester's put a lot of pucks on net here to this point, but they still trail early in the second. Hartford's got possession here in their own end. Takes the pass. They've got it on net, Rush. Feeds it over. Oh, it's still open. Oh, my goodness, what a stop. I really want to look at this last save again, James, because this is about taking it to the next level when you have this level of competitiveness, athleticism, and desperation and urgency in your game. You know that goaltending coach, they can't just teach this. This is instinctual, and this is what winners are made of. Lots of time left in this period. 2-0 is the score. Stalls won the draw in his own end. Now let's see if they can clear it. And he takes the feed. Handles the puck. Oh, he got a piece of it to keep it out. Along the boards, they battle for the puck. Taken along the wall by Johansson. Jones carries the puck in his own zone. Sends a pass over. Ullinen's got it along the wing. Great use of the body to knock him off the puck. Scores! They strike again, and that's three unanswered goals. Over and over and over again, James, and you can see the excitement on the bench. They know that they've deflated, and they've pushed their opponent back on their heels. They need to keep plugging away here and not get complacent. have come to play in a big way tonight. Yeah, right from puck drop to James. I mean, just the urgency around that initial opening face-off. They've been quicker all game long, and it's reflective on the scoreboard. Stomach, James, that's such a deflating goal. He thought he had as he's looking for it. He just pushes it into the net. That's frustrating. The Wolfpack have been a force offensively tonight. They've been had a lot of jump to their step, James, in particular in the offensive zone. There's been so much motion. It's disrupting coverage and it's opening up lanes to the net. Puck picked up by Villano. Through the neutral zone and into the offensive end. The Wolfpack break away. Yeah, he made an incredible save and really engaged this fan base. They're on their feet. You know they're right into the game. And listen, when they are showing you that kind of appreciation, you also want to play for them. Moves it quickly over to Robertson. will play it in their own end. Slides the puck over to Nadeau. Rochester's got to find a way back into this game, and it starts shift by shift and building momentum and trying to attack lanes. The mojo's got to change. The momentum's got to shift. The body language certainly has to show it as well. Through the middle of the ice, they enter the attacking zone. On the attack, they come down the right wing. And it's a quick pass to Stahl. Oh, and a smart heads-up play. Anderson's lugging the puck. Feeds it up ahead. Moves into the slot. Oh, what a stop by Bednar. Rochester's looking to break out. Sends it over to Rapula. Through the neutral zone up along the wing. Moves the puck behind the net. half of this period. Hartford's been the better team, and the scoreboard reflects it. They lead it 4-0. Smith won the draw, and they're on the attack. Cuts to the point. He scores! That's what you call having a knack for the net, James. When you get in tight and you're sniffing around, you better get that puck off quickly, because you know their defenders all around. 
Our friends carried the puck like it's been on a string all night, Cheryl. Puck's been on their stick, and their opponent's been on their heel. They've just been worn down with the offensive zone possession time. And how about the goaltender? Seeing so much rubber tonight and a lot in the netting. And that's knocked away by Regula. And he had the answer on that one. Hartford's playing it through center. Here's the puck. And he stops that kid in there. Wow. Oh, they do it again. Man, James, he shows incredible quickness right there as he makes one and then the second save. There's the whistle. Let's see what the referee saw. He doesn't like the call, but it's the ref's discretion, and he's going to the penalty box. The Americans once again send out their power play unit. Well, they haven't scored on the power play yet, Dan. It is a tough thing to do, and this is an earned opportunity. They practice. They know what they're doing. It'll come. From the left wing, takes the feed. Here's a short pass. Scores! And look at that one. Hang on a second here. I do not think that this is going to count. The official waved it off immediately. Oh, boy. They've got to be mindful to stay calm. I know the call went against them, but we're about to drop the puck here again. Giroux's won the draw. Receives the pass. Denies him in close. The goaltender is very aware of where that puck is in that low slot area and defends his crease by getting out, being aggressive, and taking away any of the net. Well, look at this, Cheryl. Here we go. The parade is officially underway. It certainly is. And everyone in the building, you can hear the crowd just jeering with their frustration, including everyone on the bench, completely deflated right now. A non-stop procession with a penalty box for the home team. Blocked in front. Pokes it away in his own end. Let's it go. Oh, what a stop with the pad by Kaiser. My goodness, look at this. The pressure is really starting to cook. Moves it around. Picked off. Here's a fight for on the wall. Trying to get it out. Oh, and they can't get it out. And look at this. They are still under attack. D picks it up. They are under pressure here. Coming up as the play's blown dead. Being down by a bunch of goals, and then you get running around with frustration and out of control, and that's the reason why you took a penalty. Down the right wing and into the offensive zone. Hartford's penalty has expired. They now go to work on the man advantage. From their own end as they get a fresh set of legs here for this man advantage. Once the stick engages at the lower half of the leg or within the skates, you know it's going to be a tripping call. Penalty killing units set to earn their keep tonight as they'll try to kill off a five-on-three man advantage. For the long five-on-three, yes, you have more time, and you know that you've worked on this in practice. The coach wants you to be patient with the puck, but they want you to find an opportunity to drive and attack. You have to move it or you have to fire it. Coach got it in the offensive zone. It could disrupt their rhythm. And they got to make sure they stay focused, they stay intense, and they come ready to start the third the way they started the first and second. He grabs the puck here at the point. Oh, he made the save. How did he stop it? I have no idea, James. I mean, he was down and out, but profound athleticism and desperation got him back in to make it. Goaltender covers it up. We get a whistle to slow things down. 
Bulls recognizing they're still shorthanded here as they get ready for the faceoff. Puck is dropped and he wins the draw here in the defensive zone. Great pressure with the stick. Takes the feed from off the wing. The Wolfpack have the puck in their own end. From center, they get into the attacking area. Forche is looking to complete the hat trick. He's got two in the game. He's looking for his third. And the puck stopper hangs on to get a breather here for the team. Special teams so important. Can they capitalize on this power play here with a faceoff? The Americans win it in the defensive zone. Johansson's almost ready to get back on the ice. Well, with a hefty lead, the team looks comfortable, and certainly that power play did. Yes, they didn't execute. It didn't seem to have the urgency that they had earlier in the game. Solid check to slow him down. Oh, to Mason with the kind of save. Man, he was right on that puck. He knew exactly where it was. It was tight to the crease. He got it and challenged right away to make the save. See if we can pick up some momentum again here as a face-off is ready to go. Offense is on face-off and he wins the draw. Sends the pass over. Shuts him down. And that concludes the second period of play. Still one more period of regulation time. We'll see what happens in the third next. 40 minutes in the books. Big third period coming up for both teams and we're ready to go. They've dropped the puck here in the third and it's been a blowout thus far. Let's see if there's any sort of response. Cheryl, 40 minutes in the books now played. How do you view this one? Rochester's going to have to outwork the goaltender here, James. I've really liked their play in the offensive zone. and They've driven the paint. they found ways to get the puck to net. They just haven't solved the riddle of the goaltender. They're going to have to get some net front presence and take away the eyes if they want to put it in. Pushes it across to Rikula. And he takes the dish. Hartford's got the puck along the wall. Finds nothing but air on that shot. And he shut the door on that last play. In close! He scores! On the one-timer! Two! Sweep! Well, he does a great job of maneuvering his body to get available in tight to the goaltender. Anytime you're in net front, you want to find a way to get your stick on a puck. This one-timer that he's able to get off beats the goaltender clean. Hartford's added yet another one here to the total tonight. I mean, what a performance. Yeah, they've had the puck on their stick for a majority of this game. You know the coaching staff is going to be impressed. Hey, maybe they'll get the day off tomorrow. Quick feed to Robertson. Slick feed. Can't hang on to the puck after taking it off. From his own end, he moves it up ahead. Smart defensive play there. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, he stops him with the glove. Great reflexes there. Every coach is going to tell you, get in front of the goaltender and take away their eyes. It's the goaltender's job to find the puck. He finds it and makes the save. Hartford's on total cruise control early in this third period. And off the draw, they win possession. Handles the pass. Hartford's through center and now in the offensive end. And a stick in the lane to flex that one away. There's a shot. He scores! And someone's hitting up with his second of the night. Yeah, I expect that he's going to be looking for the Hattie because he's been all around the paint tonight, James, just showing off his skill set. continue this onslaught here in period number three. They've steamrolled in their opponent from start to finish, and they've been consistent right through this third period, James. If they can continue this push, they're going to ride this one home. He's already got two goals. Another one would be fantastic. Sits it in front, and he scores! On the rebound, puts it home! James, these are the kind of pesky goals that create a ton of energy for your team. The rebound opts out after the shot. You have to have the hard stick be heavy on it. With it on the ice, battling the heat for it. He does it and buries it. The Wolf 
Pack have put in a complete effort tonight, and I mean, we're close to the finish line now here, Cheryl, but wow, they have really looked dominant. They have, and they've had the killer instinct. Sometimes when you get a healthy lead, you can take the foot off the gas pedal, but they're not. They're going for it right to the end. Battling for it along the boards. The Wolf Pack have taken possession along the wall. Showing him the love. And he takes the feed. Shot. Oh, that save. Tremendous agility there by Kaiser. Way too much congestion blocks that. And that's off a stick. Moves it to Robertson. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Puck scooped up by Coat. And he takes the pass. Along the half wall with the puck. to the net, James, and he knows that he's not going to have much time or space to get it off, so he elects to use the snapshot and beats the goaltender. The Wolfpack haven't looked this sharp offensively in quite some time, and they continue to attack in the third. Yeah, there's been no letdown at all. They've continued to be urgent on the puck and find ways to open lanes to get the puck to the net. This has been a great entertaining game, James. Hartford's going to play it from the corner. Quick pass to Fortier. The Americans have it behind the net. Rochester's got a hold of the puck. Fires it into the offensive zone. And that's knocked away by Komarov. Centering pass! And he comes up with a stop. Rankula's taking it from his own end. to shoot and will hang on to the puck. Good reach for the stick to knock the puck away. Takes the feed. Quick pass to Stahl. Rochester's got the puck against the boards. Beautiful read in the defensive end by Jones. Moves it to the middle. Oh, what a chance! And he fanned on the puck. The Americans carry it along the wall. Here's the clearing attempt. Anderson's got a hold of the puck behind his own cage. Hartford's got it in their own zone. Sends a pass in front, and he denies that great opportunity there. Lehigh Valley's up next as the homestand will continue. And you know, in the times that I've had a chance to see them play this year, they're a lot of fun to watch when they're playing well. Looking forward to this matchup. Hartford's got it in the offensive zone. Stopped by the goaltender getting a piece of that one. There's the whistle. We'll get a face-off after the goalie covers up. Hartford's offense has not been a problem tonight. They put a lot of shots on net and lead it big time late in this third period. Rochester's got the win off that draw. Looking dangerous as they move along the boards. And a smart heads-up play to poke that away by Anderson. Rochester's got a hold of it along the wall. The Wolfpack have taken control of the puck. 
And now he moves it quickly to Cooley. Less than 60 seconds left here in the final frame. Stalls swooping in on the attack. Grabs control of it at the point. gonna tell you after a great game that it's all about the team win James but I think he's disappointed here because he could just taste the shutout he's had a fantastic game one that he deserved and possibly earned just let that one go through Hartford's been on a roll offensively tonight lots of chances and they lead it late in this third Smith's run the draw center grabs the puck at center Toss it up on the play. And the fans on their feet recognizing a solid victory here in front of them. It is all over. Big win tonight, and this team's really starting to peak at the right time. Uh, you know how a winning streak continues, James? You continue to push and play aggressive, and that's exactly what they did from the onset of this game. Well, and that brings a fun night of hockey to a conclusion, and we will say goodbye. She's Cheryl Pounder. My name is James Sabalski. Thanks for joining us from all of us here at EA Sports. Good night.